Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Candy, so also go by Confident Candy. If you're new here, thank you for clicking me to watch. If you're subscribed, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about cognitive behavioral therapy and my experience of it. If you'd like to know more, keep watching. First things first, what is CBT? CBT represents cognitive behavioral therapy and it is a form of talking therapy, also known as a psychological form of treatment. The aim of CBT is to identify negative thought patterns whilst looking for practical ways to improve our thoughts and break them down into manageable segments. CBT was developed by Beck in the 1970s. Initially, CBT focused on the behaviour of an individual, but now it looks at the individual holistically. Based on the CBT framework, our thoughts, feelings and behaviours are interlinked. Therefore, if we change one aspect, we change all of the aspects. How is CBT administered? It depends on the needs of the individuals. Initially, patients may be offered between 6 to 20 sessions and they may be provided in a group and or individual format. Research has shown that CBT is effective for reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression and it is said to be one of the most effective forms of treatment for depression. I decided to give CBT a try as it was recommended to me by a therapist and I tried counselling before so I wanted to compare the two and see if it will make an impact on my life or not. Plus, I have been learning about CBT for many years so I wanted to see how it would change my life and what I could learn from it. Due to COVID, I was offered online CBT using a platform called SilverCloud. I'll leave a link below to take you to the NHS website where they will discuss SilverCloud in more detail. SilverCloud was a great tool as it required me to work on things that were taught during my sessions with a therapist. The course lasted for about eight weeks. In the first couple of sessions, we discussed the main issues that I would like to work on throughout the course of treatment. Prior to every session, I was required to take a questionnaire to identify my moods to see if there was a change throughout the course of the therapy and to see if there was possible triggers and events that happened in my life that caused me to feel a certain kind of way therefore affecting my mood. Throughout the course of treatment, I learned many great techniques that helped me to analyse my thoughts and to break it down and to identify possible triggers. For example, worry time. Every day I have a set time where I sit down and analyse my worries. I do this at 5pm every day and it gives me time to focus on things that have been causing me stress or particular issues that I need to focus on. So I will write down my worry, usually I write it down on my phone and I'll identify if it's a practical worry, such as, oh, I wanted to have a picnic, but I don't think it's gonna happen now because of the weather, that's practical. It said it's gonna rain, there's your evidence. Or hypothetical worry, worrying about a scenario that may not happen. And I also learn about problem solving. During my worry time, like I mentioned prior, I will look at my worries, identify problems and possible triggers, and then I'll break it down and find solutions. I want to reinstate that therapy differs for everyone. My experience could be totally different from what you may experience. Now for my likes and dislikes. I liked CBT because I was taught different techniques such as problem solving and mindfulness and that helped me to break down my problems, break down the issues and see if there's triggers and see solutions to my issues that will help combat my feelings of anxiety and depression. I like the fact that at the end of each session I will get homework, I will get something to work on throughout the following week and to discuss when I next speak to my therapist. Well, now for my dislikes. The sessions only lasted 30 minutes which I felt went by very quickly and like once you got into the meat of the session that's when the session was over for like counseling it lasted roughly an hour and I felt that was a good time because maybe around 20 minutes half an hour that's when I started to get more comfortable and I started to really vent my frustrations out with my counsellor. CBT is more focused on solving the issue and sometimes if you want to vent and talk about the issue before finding a solution for it CBT is not really like that it's more problem solving it's more practical and I would say counsellor is more talkative. You talk about everything throughout the day and your and your counsellor will go through with you like, why were you feeling this way? What made you feel this way? And CBT is not really like that. CBT is good though and I would definitely recommend it. So yeah, thank you for watching this quick video. I hope this gave you guys insight into what CBT, cognitive behavioural therapy is. I was able to find a local service and I 
had a self referral. I was able to just sign up and to say I want counselling, I want therapy, and it was free. It was free on the NHS, but it may depend on your local area. So do make sure you check online and do ample research before deciding that therapy is what you want to do. Therapy is a great option, but I know it can be costly for some. So do bear this in mind if you are considering going through a private service or you want therapy right now but you don't want to wait on the waiting list and stuff like that and it's is very backed up but that's a story for a different day so thank you guys for watching i hope you're all safe take care and i'll see you soon